I uh, started at malt at the age of 19. And malt, we make malt for the beer. And what they have there is uh, grain elevators and they have malt houses. So when I arrived there, we had to go according to seniority. And that meant I was at the bottom of the list, so I couldn't pick my own job, my own position. So they put me in sanitation. So my description was sanitation, and that meant that wherever we had to, wherever it needed to be done, I had to go. Cleaning tanks, sweeping, uh, bulk loading, uh, go to the malt house. So I had a host of jobs that I had to do. A lot of the dust come from automatically it's dusty anyway. And then you had the dust coming in, going into the tanks. Then you got the barley on the floors. Then what we have to do when we have to uh, clean the floors, we take our air spray, spray it, and then we had a suction system like a vacuum cleaner. So, the, so the, the whole elevator upstairs, that one floor may be a block long. And so you go from one end to the other end, you got different suction system all the way along the, along the rails. So we take our suction system, blow it all down with the air thing. And then we take uh, the suction system and vacuum all the stuff off the floors. And then we blow off the walls and everything. We would have paper, we had paper masses and, uh, uh, and, and goggles. And our little goggles, but it, did, it didn't help at all, because once you be blowing all that dust, it's, it's all in the air. So there's nothing you can really do. But I kept on, I made sure I had my mess, but then every time I got out and left work, I kept spitting that stuff up and blowing my nose, all that black stuff. My eyes were like turning green, the green stuff. It was just horrible. How did I find out I had silicone? That's another long story. This is how this happened. I used to cough all the time. And when I started coughing, this last time I went, I said, let me go to the hospital so I can get rid of this cold. So when I went to the hospital and I asked the lady, I said, so uh, what's wrong? She said, you don't have no cold. I said, no, I don't. I said, well, what do I have? She said, you have COPD. I said, what is COPD? She said, chronic, uh, chronic obstruct, oh, this, uh, chronic pulmonary lung disease, whatever, something, yeah. I said, so how did, I said, I said, how did I get that? She said, do you work around dust or anything? I said, yeah, matter of fact, I, I, I did, I do. And she said, well, that's where you kind of got it from. I went to the law firm and this law firm referred me to this occupational disease specialist, which I didn't know he was one in the beginning. So when I was telling him about my case, he said he could help me. So I said, oh, really? He said, yeah. So when I explained everything to him, he said, uh, you have malt, malt lung disease. You know, because I was in a lot of dust and stuff. So I said, okay. So then he started treating me and saying that it came from my job and stuff like that. He took his paper and he threw it on the table. He said, we got bigger fish to fry. I said, what are you talking about? He said, you got silicosis. I said, silicosis? He, I said, what is that? He said, sand dust particles of the lungs. Living with silicosis, I wouldn't even put this on my best friend. I, 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 I really would. I mean, my worst enemy. I, I just wouldn't. It's very difficult. You find out that a lot of people that you would think would help you, it's hard to find people to kind of help you with your needs. I just knew this was a problem that I had to deal with and, and navigate through it and hope everything come out okay on the other side. And that was it. So any of the challenges that I had, I think I was always up to meeting the challenge. See, so I, yeah, so you have to be up to meeting the challenge because if not, you'll be defeated. And I didn't want to be defeated. Not with this here, no. Whatever protections 
and safety equipment they have, please use it. Please use it. Don't take nothing for granted that it won't happen to you. If it's there for you, to, if you think there's something you need to protect yourself, if the environment is bad, speak up. And if the stuff that they have available for you, please use it and, 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 and don't stop using it because that's gonna make a difference in whether you're gonna pick up this disease or you won't.